Well, hello, welcome back. It's lovely to have you here. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today we're working on the 50 stack challenge number three. Um, this is being hosted by Amy over at Crafty Cat, those of you that don't know about it. And um, the prompts for this week are bell and ribbon. So as you can see, I've got an array of stuff here. And what would we like to make? We're going to make paper bags. Okay, so we'll cross that off our list, get rid of our pencil. It's, oops, so I've got two of these brown jelly bags. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this one up like this to give us a pocket and a, a baggie that's going to be number one and then this one because we don't want to be the same I'm going to fold that way to go between journal pages and I'll just snip off if I can find some scissors snip off this edge to make sure that both areas are open like that so we've got a bag, or two bags, because it will be stitched into our journal. So there you go, there's the plan. Now, so decoration, really. Um, I've got some beautiful Christmas fabric here. That's going to have to go on one of them, isn't it? It's probably a perfect size to go on there. Um, oh, look. Christmas music. Um, that could maybe lit fit. It's slightly long. We could definitely trim a bit off. Because where does that come to? Well, we can probably actually cut it in half. So, how are you? Happy, safe and well, I hope. Um, Monday here. Today is Monday. It's been a busy day. It's the Monday that I go to my mum. Yes, we're going to put that on there, look. And that's going to fit right across the middle. Um, it's the Monday that I go and visit my mum. So I've been all the way over to Essex today. Um, everything's good with her, I'm glad to say. Um, and she always has some wonderful crafting bits from me, for me because she always hangs out at the boot fairs. So that's good. Um, right, so we've got that, we've got that. I've also got this fabulous vintage image. Um, I'm wondering if I can get it. It's Mr. Scrooge, of course. I'm wondering if I can get some of it out to put over our music because. To me, we use music all the time. It's not overly exciting. The exciting bit here is the foreign, I'm not quite sure what language, but the foreign version of, you know, the advent up there. So I'm wondering if we could maybe get a bit of this picture underneath. So that goes on there. And that goes about there. And that closes up. We're going to need to come about there. Um, 
Yeah, and then we've got the vintage looking Scrooge. And then we've got some music paper with a lovely advent title at the top. So that works for me for that top part. Now, I know I'm supposed to be doing a bell and ribbon, but I'm just trying to get myself started with what we're doing. I think this one is going to be the ribbon one. And what I'm going to do is decorate this bottom bit. Now, we've got vintage style, so we don't want these modern papers, really, do we? They're a bit modern. So... We've also got this beautiful Robin napkin. How well is he going to fit on there? Let's see. Is it two or three layers? Three layers. So, how well does he sit on there? Quite well. It's really only the branch we lose. Perfect. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to get some old page. We have a piece here, conveniently. Right, I'm going to get some gel matte medium and a paint brush. We're going to have a little bit of a squirt. We're going to get this, whoops, stuck down there, like that. I'm going to take a smaller paintbrush, dip it in my water, put it on this first, really, shouldn't I? As usual, I'm working back to front, and then I'm just going to detach that and that. There we go. That saves that napkin for another day. And then use the gel matte medium to make sure that is nicely stuck down. Now obviously that's going to need a bit of time to dry so pop that over there out of the way stick the paintbrush in that okay so they're the bits for the top right so what I'm going to do now is take my hole punch the small one well, this is the medium one actually. And I'm gonna do you know no, do you know what'll be easier? Duh. You can do it with the whole punch, obviously. But I'm gonna stick mine in my zapper. That'll make it so much easier. And then we've got nice little holes there. And then because we're gonna turn this upside down, I'm gonna feed ribbon through there. So that will be my ribbon one. So we're gonna poke this through. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one. Yeah, that does work. In there, the two. that and we're gonna trim this off there like that we'll put a bit of tape on that no I'm not yes I am gonna put a bit of tape on that to hold that down like so
Okay, so that's stuck our end in. Okay, that's that coming out there. Now I'm going to do one from the other side. Exactly the same. Simple, but effective, I feel. What say you? And then back out there. Like so. And I'm going to do a nice little... I'm not going to do a bow, I'm just going to do a dangly knot, like so, and I'll get the scissors and trim that off, there you go, we've got a little dangly bow, so now we just need to trim this off again, um, the one at the front, oh these scissors, I'll obviously trim with some proper scissors. So, like that, piece of this. So there's our little front pocket. That's going to hang down there. And we're going to put our robin underneath that bow on that paper. So that's our ribbon. And we're going to put a robin on the front. But we need to put these on the back. So I don't think I've got any more of this. Um, Christmas music left. I've used it all now. Because of course, make Christmas journals every year, so. Right. This one. Because not only does it obviously make a nice decorative piece. But it strengthens up that pocket. Excuse me. Coffee time. Right. And then we've got this screwed going on there as well. You haven't done any of these yet, but you've decided that you would like to join in. Um, but you're not sort of into Christmas in June or whatever, July, August, whatever month it is, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> um, Amy does clearly say, you know, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It's just that she's chosen to do Christmas. And that you can do absolutely anything you like with the prompts. It's just that you use ribbon and bell or whatever it is. This week it's ribbon and bell. Um... And because I did the previous challenge, and I, I've said this before, but I basically ended up with just loads and loads and loads of tags. I wanted to be a little bit more organised this time. So that's why I have... Um, whoops. That's why I've... Um, what have I done? Written a list to pick things off. So I've got a nice varied batch of things this is still wet so that's going to have to wait to go on there so i'm going to have to leave that up there a bit longer so and that will give the pocket sides a chance to dry as well anyway so we pop that one over there now this one i do like this i think this is lovely but it's going to need something behind it isn't it um so, we have obviously got more music. Do we keep the theme going with 
music. Not much music on that one though, is there? There's a bit more on that one. So we could maybe frame it. How about that? So we could come like this and like this. We could have this one up there. We could have this one. down here like that and that could frame our uh, Merry Christmas so we'll have Merry Christmas on this side and then we need something else to tuck into the other two so what else did I have in my my pouch we don't want the modern papers that's not gonna work what else have i got here ah oh, i've got this artsy maze paper haven't i that would add a bit of color to it so am i even now going to use that music paper oh see it's not it's not easy is it you know what let's tear this off that get rid of the white oh and that is, is Christmas music obviously underneath so do we actually even want any music or do we just have our fabric so yeah it's too wide I thought it would be okay so let's take a little bit more off here that's quite a lot actually isn't it a little bit more off there and then can get that on there this one like that so after all that the music has become null and void we can put that lovely artsy maze paper there and we can put our merry christmas there yeah so first things first get this glued down Right, what I think I'm going to do is just glue the two sides so if we can use it as a belly band if we want to later on. So I'm just going to glue down the sides like this. And we can use that. There's a small 
Very bound. That would be cute. See, and then we can just tuck something in there if we want to. I mean, obviously, if you wouldn't tuck that in there, you'd need a tag or something. Right, and then we need to do the back. I'm not do the middles as well? Maybe. I don't know. Right, let's do the back. Now, we need to concentrate on this bell. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some scrap paper. Well... I'm going to get a piece of coffee dyed paper. I'm going to tear this to the max size that we can use. Okay. And then I'm going to do a bit of a rough collage. And then I'm going to cut it into the shape of a bell. That is my plan. Right, so we move this for a moment. So we've got this piece of music that we ended up not using. We can definitely use that. So we'll put that up in that corner like so. We've got this lovely piece here. I think what I'm going to do is pull that piece up there. Oh, let's go up there. Let's stick to the one side, Claire. Work out what it is you're doing. So we'll overlap that by a bit. We'll put that one there. <coughs> what other papers did we have? Oh, of course, we've got another bit of this arty maze. Now that will tie the whole thing in. Because we use that on the other side, haven't we? So, put that down there, like that. Just basic, simple collage. Nothing, you know, rocket science. You know, Page. And then the girl who doesn't draw has got to try and draw a bell, but I think it'll work. What's a basic bell look like? Like that. We want that. Um, we don't want that. And we don't want that. Okay, so that's that. Just need something else to go there. Oh, what about one of these vintage newspapers? So we go like that. Oh, I quite like the. No, we can go like that. Okay, I like that. Get rid of that and that. As always, we are crafting by the seat of our pants here. And I think that comes down to about there. And then it goes. No, it comes down a bit lower than that. Goes across there, like that, and then that one is going to sit up in that top corner. And then we've got to try and draw a bell. Um, well, dumped it upside down, Claire. Mind you, if you had a sherry or two at Christmas, you're very likely to put it upside down, aren't you? <laughs> right, now, I need to draw a bell. Um, how big do I want this bell to be? Right, let's try it. I think the obvious answer is to draw it on the back. So, we need... Let's 
the inside and it needs to come it's not bad is it it's not brilliant but it's not bad Sorry, I'm doing this, trying to get a feel for this one. Okay, I'm going to go, go for it, I think. What do you think? So, that one. Also, of course, it means we don't quite know what we've got on the other side. It's not bad, I suppose, especially once we join that like that. So we could join that with, oh, not that one. Let's find a black, black sharpie is what we really need. Where's the black sharpie? Oh, everything's collapsing. That's a green felt tip. Apparently, there is no black sharpie today. Where's that gone then? Okay, so we're going to have to use felt tip. So, the bell's going to be... No, it's not right, is it? Why is that not right? Oh. Right. See? I didn't check that, did I? It should have gone more like that, shouldn't it? So, do you know what we could do? We could... Okay, so what we'll do now, because I muffed that up in case you hadn't noticed, <laughs> oh dear, is we'll put a different paper that's not wide enough. Oh that one will be right so if we get our pencil where's it gone get our pencil see if you could draw you would wouldn't have this problem Okay. Like that. Um. Like that. That should give us the inside of our bell. I don't know why it doesn't. Do you know what? We could cheat. We could just do it like that, couldn't we? <laughs> so, let's put a little bit of glue around that edge. Like that. And let's stick that There, is that right? Mm. 
There we go. That's the inside of my bell. And then what we need is a nice gold circle. So if we punch out one of these, oh, this thing. Everything's going wrong, isn't it? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell what it is yet? Yeah? Let's just. I don't know what one. Ah, I know what we could maybe do. No, that's going to be much too small. Right, well, we're just going to draw one then because that's the way we go. So I'm going to draw right the way we um there. Colour that in. Like so. And then we've got a clanger in there. And there's my bell. It's probably not the best bell in the world, but it's a bell. And to re-enhance the whole ribbon thing, what I'm going to do... Now this is one that's the pocket, isn't it? So we're going to have to do it just through that one there. Right. Is I'm going to take my hole punch. I'm going to punch. No, I'm not. See? Nearly did it wrong. Punch through just the one side of the gusset like that find the ribbon that we just had where's my ribbon gone so if all such a messy crafter it would be easy to find these things wouldn't it oh for goodness sake i just had it didn't i what to do with it it's in the drawer that's why it's in the drawer right I'm going to have this gold one, I think. So, I think we'd better put grommet through there. I'm going to put a grommet on there. We have a nice gold one, shall we? As we've got gold ribbon. And it's Christmas. All things Christmas should be gold. There you go. So we'll put that on there. There you go. A bit more swing if we want it to. Also, we can put golden ribbon through there like so and because it's um only through the one gusset side it's not going to affect us using it oh except i've just torn the paper bag it's not going to affect us using it as um a pocket so, I'm going to tie that up, and then look, when I've torn that bag, there's not a lot I can do about it, but it's not going to come apart, because it's got the metal grommet down there, so it'll be fine. So then I'm just going to tear that, uh, snip that, snip that, and look at that. How sexy is that? I just love it. And then if we want to, we could put some decorative paper or something underneath. Okay, so let me tidy up this desk a bit. Because you can't even see anything now except mess, can you? 
and I know if I was watching somebody else's video that would probably really annoy me so where's the other pocket gone <laughs> oh my days seriously you know you could go to a channel where they know what they're doing seriously where oh where so if ever you're sitting at home thinking oh my goodness why does everything go wrong for me why is this happening you can see 100% that it doesn't just happen to you because part of anything else I've just lost something that I've just made with you how can I even have just lost that right there's bag one right with a bell paper Ribbons, napkin, paper, paper. Seriously, where has that gone? <laughs> oh dear, so funny. Did I put it in here by mistake? No, these are all the other ones that have already been done. Right? Well, you know what? It looks like the brown bag with the gold ribbon on and Scrooge is no more because I have zero idea where it's gone. If you can see it, holler. Because this is absolutely stupid. Right, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to find it. Yeah, I found it. You'll be pleased to know no people or animals were damaged in the finding of this naughty pocket that thought it was going to do a walk around. Right, this is still very wet, but I might cheat and have a go. So... Let's have a look, see if we can do this. Going very, very gently because of how wet it is. Okay. Measuring it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to go right up under the ribbon, like that. I'm going to apologise for the crazy video. <laughs> Get up there, you naughty piece of ribbon. We're going to stick down our robin rib breast. I think I should have a gin in that coffee. What do you reckon? Let's take our scissors. Gonna do a nice little snip and a nice little snip, and then we we'll turn it over. And we're going to tear this to match our pocket. I tear for two reasons. One, I like the shape. But moreover, I don't want to cut the bottom of my bag off. Okay. I'm just going to roughly tear that bit with my fingers. There you go. So, if by any miracle you're still here, you are a star. I don't know how you stayed through all that chaos. 
but there you go so we have got a bag and a front pocket and that's our ribbon and then we've got a belly band and a moving bell so I can't say thank you enough if you're still here that's a miracle stay safe I'll be back soon oh no they say bye for now